Hey everybody. Hey good buddy Dad. Here he is, he's up to go get the cows in. We're just gonna go set up the cow shed. He goes out too far away. Get to it. Nice and early. It's it's cold this morning. It's about four degrees. It was three, and we just had a small little shower of rain come through. Possible thunderstorms this yeah, afternoon. Dad's back. He's rolling the heifers in. And yeah, uh, rolls down here. Let's help push some cows up. Oh, girls! Hush, hush! Go, girls! Up we go. Good, good. Four between these, but. Sometimes more when there's too much room. Oh, yeah, go, go. Heifer here, cow, heifer, 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 cow, cow, heifer, heifer. So, heifer's like coming in the later rows, two rows to go. This side and the other side. One more row, this side to go. Yeah. Mum's washing up the cow poo. Let's get the milk in. Good one. Oh, there's the milk in the milk. Yeah, we gave a girl that had been limping quite badly a good trim. So she'll walk a bit better now. We just gave her a disinfectant spray on the end of her hoof there, so that'll help her. Right with that. Her head's out, she won't walk while you fell off for a little while, but she'll come right. Need a big part of her hoof cut off. Even her up a bit. Good girl. Lost some girls here and uh, yeah, all the ones with short tails are going in the herd today. Long tails stay in the colostrum mob. And we've got penicillin, penicillin, and penicillin down here, all on the buckets. Just we treat them with Norbert and LA, just goes in the teeth and goes up through them and eats away at that mastitis. Hopefully, help on a bit. Ugh. Crazy little buggers. Hang it, we got the five feeder at the back. These ones all get dehorned today. Tomorrow morning they're on the big feeder. Ah, four today. Awesome. All cars are fed, happy. Just finished washing up the buckets in the cafeterias. Nice and clean. Um, we give them a hot wash on the inside. They get a big wash at the end of the season on the outside, so inside for the uh, during the season. Beauty! Okay, let's head off and go get some calves. I don't have to feed out today because I fed out for today, yesterday. And uh, yeah, Bobby Calf Truck's been, took our four little calves. It's awesome. Let's go and um, find some more little calves down there. Dad said there was two last night, so see how many we can get today. <laughs> yeah. So today these two pens are getting dehorned, except for the Herefords, but once they're dehorned tomorrow morning, they're going to get a good feed on the cafeteria, and they're going to be allowed to go into this little muddy area for the day. And then tomorrow we'll give it a crack and see if they can uh, start going through the rest of the pack, but you do have to remember, not to let them out.
Yeah, this is what happens in this field. End up walking up the front of the paddock here and really muddying it up. It's part of the way we're bringing cows and calves. Okay, let's keep going. We're shooting down. We're going to grab some calves. The cow's over. That cow at the back there on the right, she's calved. But she keeps looking this way. There's another two calves there. She keeps looking this way and I uh, wonder why. See a little white tuft there? Little carvey there. In amongst the rushes. Damn little carvey got away. Alright, better go pick these calves up. Dad's gonna start calls bagging. Well, I'll go Ooh. check the drains are clear, so I'm just going to put this back up. Stop those girls from going over that way. We're gonna go grab another calf. There's a calf in here, so should be three in here today. That I've seen so far. We'll have a look around. Today, and all five are bobbies. Right, we'll take this out. Let's go find some cows. To the gates. There we go. They're all heading out quite nicely. First three were easy as. These next two aren't gonna be that easy. So I'm just looking through for the last one now. There you go. Just found it without even have to looking for a number. Very lopsided, empty belly, big udder, and all got at the big loin area. Good girl, off we go. That's a way. All easy girls today, they just wanted to go, wanted to join their little garbage. So, I, as you can see, they're getting fed quite well because um, you'll notice the rushes, they aren't eating down the rushes as much as they were. Paddock next door. Had way worse rushes, but they've eaten them down. So, getting pretty well fed. Good girls. Give them a whole bag of course bag a day. Even though there's only probably 90 odd cows in here. 80 by now. Another five out. Real for tomorrow. Basically cut these at this break in half. We've gotten five days out of this paddock. All set up. Down. Five today. The Herefords are starting to come, but these two are too small a framed and are not uh, the right colour we want. They haven't got the perf perfect markings either, so they're both bobbies. Right, let's head on up. Let's go and uh, put these girls in with the other colostrums. He's doing good down there, but he fell behind a little bit. That's alright. Beautiful day today. And I gotta do more paperwork for this dang herd test. Coming up. There you go, Shookies. Bobbies. All bobbies. And these girls see. Come to the paddock when we're taking little carvies past. They come to the front of the paddock and muddy up the front of the paddock here. So can't be helped. And uh, the old fellow who set up this farm, this raceway here, uh, that's actually. A spring that's coming up in the middle of the race. So, yeah, I didn't know that was there. But as Dad said, I'll just put a ton of, uh, load of rotten rock on it. Shut up, you go. Come on, that's five more for the colostrum mob. With that, we're going to uh, unload these little carvies. Dad will wash the spreader. We're going to check the hairs. One to lead the way, and the rest should follow. Can't see any little calves. Hey. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Can't see any little calves, so that's right. We'll look at them as they go past. That one still looks empty to me. Ah, vet checked, vet approved. Yep. It's just very, very late. He's thinking October late. Come on. Yeah, everyone's held on in here. Did have a big day yesterday, so. Yep. Come on. It's like, oh, it's like oh. checking the drain. Once you check the drain, he's going to pick up those standards. And I'm just going to wind up this second reel here. And pick up those standards, then I'll wind up that reel. These little heifers will just mosey on down. 
what we've done is we've set up so they're going in the paddock where the milkers were yesterday. It's going to spend two days in there because there's a lot of grass left in that area. As easy as that. Let us leave this paddock to recover. So you can see the line where the reel was. <laughs> oh, it'll grow back very well. As you can see, this has probably been about five days, maybe six days since the heifers were in here. So it's recovering. It's just a bit slow. Dad's following those heifers up. And we'll... Uh, Get back with our reels and um, close it up. I'm running like, like an idiot. <laughs> yep, so that's where the cows were yesterday. A bit of grass in there, they'll be happy. Two days there. It's such a beautiful day, but unfortunately, I gotta go and do some paperwork because this damn herd test, this um, shed inspection's coming, so gotta get ready for it. So, with that, I'll see you all at Milking tonight. Actually, Nearly forgot. I'll see you all at about 2, 2.30. The vet's coming to do the uh, new horning. So, we'll be ready for her. We'll have those two pens dehorned. See you at dehorning. Here. Go. Get this sorted. Get them there, little sleepy. Get them there. Um, what do you call them? numbing and then they're going to dehorn them and then give them a anti-inflammatory okay use it next dehorning enough just to dump the butt off so why are you going Two down, 32 to go. Great. So what? Still held to it, all done. Right. Oh, yeah. Play for it, happy now. <laughs> So what are you giving them there, Natalie? Xylazine. Ah, what's sleepy that? Juice. Sleepy juice. Sleepy juice. Hey, you want some sleepy juice? You do. What's your name? There's three dots. They say I don't really like you anymore. Usually, um, kiss her and dad. Go that way, you drunken. Go that way, you drunken mess. Okay, look at her. Go away <laughs> from it. <laughs> Might have put them down in her spot. She probably like, I sleep there every night. Yeah.
falling asleep. Some of them are starting to stir. Awesome. Thank you, Natalie, and the parakeets. Awesome. Great job. Happy little calves. Oh, dehorned. So a couple of them with an extra teat that was chopped that chopped that off. Let's make it so they can breathe. That, here we go. Cool. All right. With that, Dad will be here shortly. Let's get them off. They're out of here. Just the two vets. Thank you. Great. Great work. So why do we get them dehorned so that we don't have um, it's much easier to dehorn them now when they're young than when they're older because then you don't have to worry about getting them dehorned and bringing the vet in and bring the loppers in and oh we used to do them when, we, when they're young or when they're older when we're little when me and my brother were little but then the laws change you had to dehorn them when they're younger because it can bring a lot of infection chances when they're older so and plus younger much easier and easier on them now we don't have to worry about horns anymore so either they give them a drug to knock them out a and he will knock me out and put him to sleep. Then he a um, numbing agent around just behind the eye there, which connects up to the horns, so they can't feel it. And that's meant to last over the next couple of days. And then a, um, what's the other one? A anti-inflammatory antibiotic. Awesome. Right, that's it done. All 32, and then that means over the next couple of days, once this weather clears up, we'll be looking at putting them outside. Oh, there he is, just behind also, me. Also, these cows will be fed in the morning. She said to give them about eight hours before you give them a half. Feed. He's off to go get the cows in. I'll set up the shed. Oh, hello, ladies. I just had to go home and get my book. It's got all my carving data in it, and who's carved recently, and who has, what sort of calf, when, and what day. Hello, girls. Hey, hello. Hello. Hey, 87 girl. Hey, ladies. Dad's coming in. We better get in there and get them all gonna... <laughs> Hello. Good girl. Ready? Let's get the bucket. Now we're advised by the vet not to uh, feed those fellas there for at least eight hours and then give them a half feed then. So she said, don't worry about just feed them in the morning as recommended by the vet. So, here you go, Dad. Here's your milk for your calves here. <laughs> for these oh, ones. Oh, oh. I'll just leave it in the old pile, mate. <coughs> okay. Okay. Good. Sweet. Dad will feed these fellas here. The two big Herefords are in here. They'll go back through in the morning. Four pens to feed tonight. Those ones are done. Dad's are nearly done. These are just starting, but nearly done. They're just the babies to feed. That's it. All the little calves are fed. Oh, we say that. I can describe what I see in the morning. <laughs> Thank you. It's chaos in there. Yep, guys are really. We've got a special surprise for those two pens tomorrow. We're going to bring out the 40 feeder, and they're going to get fed off the 40 feeder. It's awesome with that. See you all in the morning.